Ink, what do you think? Um, yes, I think so. And I think probably it will be difficult to be able to implement something like that. Um, but I don't think it's impossible because mm. if you think about it, um, LinkedIn, has any of you ever been uh, in LinkedIn jail? No. Thankfully, yeah. no, but I know a lot of people have. Yes. Have. Especially influencers. Yeah, I have. Um, many times. <laughs> and, okay. And how, did, how did that happen? And, and you know, how long were you out? And, and what did you have to do to get back? Um, so there were different instances. I'll tell you. The ones that I'm specifically speaking of is like when you... So I, I would have... On a Saturday, I would have a social Saturday post where you know many people would comment and i would respond to them and and um as is proper practice on linkedin i tag people in my response right so um but when i respond too um too many times within a certain period of time that's when i would end up being in linkedin jail and a lot of the time it would happen um for maybe about 24 hours Oh, wow. Is this so, the thing where you can't tag anyone else? You can't respond. Oh, you can yeah. Comment. Oh, like you, your ability to weird. comment is yeah. taken away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's happened to me six wait. or seven times. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So that that's... And you're like, what the heck? Like, I keep trying to comment and respond, and then it just, it just like, your comment disappears, and you're like, this is weird. Yeah. And yeah. then there's been an instance where... Um, something was going on with my computer and I had two-factor authentication. And when I was trying to get into my LinkedIn account, it would give me a code on this on another app. But then somehow it would ask for the code again and I would give the code that I have on my phone and then it, it's the wrong code. So I got locked out of my account. My, my account completely got removed <gasps> from LinkedIn. That's yes, sad. and I I had to verify who I was. Um, mm. You know, I received a message from LinkedIn and I had to actually send them an image of my passport so that wow. they that I was really who I was saying I was. Um, and, you know, so if they can do those things. Yeah. It's possible yeah, no for them to, to filter out, you know, comments. And I, I have a friend of mine, actually, you know, um, she she was wanting to connect with, with other people in her profession. And what she did was, you know, like we have a, a, a limit, a connection limit per mm. week. Mm. And, you know, it would say, you would get an, a message saying, FYI, you're approaching a connection limit. Mm. And she would just say oh she'd click okay whatever and she would just continue until she couldn't anymore and she did that for a few weeks hmm. and linkedin has now blocked her and oh. removed her she's not allowed to be on linkedin she even tried with a different um email address but with the same name linkedin has blocked her she cannot create a linkedin profile wow, but yeah. wow. indeed yeah what is so and this is a good person. What yeah. about all mm -hmm. people who come on to you who do all these sordid things and they're mm -hmm. allowed to continue on their merry way? We're talking yeah. about fine professional people. They do not deserve that treatment. No. And, you know, so so my argument is if they can do all those things, mm -hmm. of course they can felt out your your uh, the bad comments. And I've had sure. experience where I've had negative comments on my posts. Um, but, you know, LinkedIn leaves it up to the poster to then say, hey, LinkedIn, this is bad. Let's not let's not have this. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, how do you they, they need to have some sort of balance. And like I said earlier, they need to be more proactive in preventing this kind of behavior. Very valid. Point. Mm -hmm. I I'm think if okay. people complain, maybe that could open up the dialogue so we can ameliorate the situation. Yeah. Well, that's what... And, I, oh, no, oh, Inga's got, got slightly distracted, you all right? 
Um, yeah, um, and so, you know, the technology is clearly able and the hoops you have to jump through to prove yourself mean that every time you report someone, that, that person should be held to that standard. 